Hi, I'm Sarah Mullen, Associate Director of the ACLU of Pennsylvania. I am here at the voter ID trial with Vic Volchek, Legal Director for the ACLU of Pennsylvania. I'm going to ask him a couple questions. So Vic, tomorrow, closing arguments, can you tell us a little bit about what you will be saying? Well, the judge is deciding this case is a preliminary injunction, so there are six elements to a preliminary injunction, so we'll review the law and the facts. Uh, according to those six different elements, but really there's there's um, a number of points that we've proved through this trial, um, and that is first that the the reason that we're here, the reason that the Commonwealth passed this law is to fight fraud, and they have signed a stipulation not only saying they're not aware of any of the kind of fraud that would be cured by a voter ID law, but that. Um, if the court issues an injunction, it's not going to increase the likelihood of fraud at uh, in November. And so that's just a huge admission. So to the extent you're balancing the harm, there's really no harm to the Commonwealth. On the other hand, what we've had is just um, an array of people, 14 people, some petitioners, some witnesses from all walks of life, um, all of whom have had uh, very moving stories about why they either don't have ID and can't get the documents, don't have the documents to get that ID, or why they simply can't get to PennDOT. Either it's because they don't have access to transportation, um, or they're just too sort of old and frail to be able to make the trip. Or in one very memorable case, we had a, a uh, an autistic young man who tried uh, to navigate the process and was just simply not able to complete it because of his disability. Um, so you've got some very real people, real Pennsylvanians, who um, will not be able to vote in November under this law. Uh, and beyond that, these folks are just the tip of the iceberg because um, what you've got is a lot of evidence about large numbers, and those numbers are kind of all over the board. I mean, it's been quite clear that the Commonwealth really has no idea uh, how many people don't have the idea, ID. They haven't tried very hard to figure it out. Uh, they started out at 89,000, everybody but Secretary Achel from the Commonwealth has repudiated that number. So the number, according to Commonwealth's own documents, is somewhere between a half a million and a million and a half people that don't have ID. Uh, the only evidence that's been introduced that has any kind of scientific integrity is the evidence that we introduced. We commissioned a poll uh, uh, conducted by Washington State Professor uh, Matt Barreto. Uh, and under that poll, his finding, which uh, I mean, these polls have a margin of error, 2.7%, uh, is that there are about a million registered voters in Pennsylvania who don't have any of the forms of valid ID. Uh, and more importantly, that about 12% of the people think that they have an ID that's going to work, but in fact don't. And the importance of that is that those people are going to be really hard to reach. So when you hear a PSA saying, oh, we have a voter ID requirement now in Pennsylvania, you need certain kinds of ID, boom, they're off to go to the bathroom or get a beer because, uh, hey, they've got ID and it's going to work. And they're not going to find out until Election Day that they're wrong. Uh, and if you don't have an ID by Election Day, you're going to have... Uh, six days to get one, that's only um, three days that are not a weekend where PennDOT's going to be open. Uh, and in some counties, there is no PennDOT that issues these. In other counties, it's only open one day a week, so you'll only have one day. And if that happens to be a day you're working or you've got child care responsibilities or you're sick, then uh, you're not going to have an opportunity to, to go get it. Um, I think most significantly here... Uh, the Commonwealth has really admitted the size of this problem because um, while we have hundreds of thousands of people who do not have the right kind of ID to vote, uh, the Commonwealth's plans and projections both call for issuing only a few thousand IDs. Uh, and you can just do the math. that The gap between the number of people who likely don't have IDs and the number of people that they expect to issue IDs to, I mean, that leaves hundreds of thousands of people. So uh, this is a pretty important case. Great. Thanks. And I know people are wondering, what are the next steps? Where does it go from here? Uh, the, 
the parties have, I think, five calendar days after the close of evidence, which will be tomorrow, uh, to uh, submit post-trial briefs. Uh, we probably will get ours in early. Uh, and then the judge uh, has announced that he's going to try to issue a decision the week of August the 13th. Uh, we expect that whoever loses will immediately appeal to the Pennsylvania Supreme Court. Certainly we will uh, if, if we lose. Uh, and that we would expect that that court's going to make a decision before the end of September. Great. Well, thank you very much.